These are some of our favorite stories about former child stars who are now all grown up. I'm Angelo Misagli and I was Frankie in School of Rock. And I'm Caitlin Hale and I was Marta in School of Rock. And Caitlin and Angelo are in love. That's right. The kids from the iconic 2003 movie School of Rock are all grown up now. And years after the movie's filming, these two figured out they should be more than friends. All right, look, I've got a hangover. Who knows what that means? Doesn't that mean you're drunk? No. It means I was drunk yesterday. Angelo and Caitlin were only 10 and 11 years old when they first met. Caitlin and Angelo made it clear this isn't just a passing Hollywood fling. You know, it's funny, we've been dating for so long, I guess it, it just, it's just second yeah. nature at this point. But uh, but yeah, we've been together for, what is it, two and a half years now? Yes. Um, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend and, you know. Stay we're doing tuned. It. We're doing it. Yeah, stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> you love to watch TV, Mike? You bet. Eagle-eyed viewers immediately recognized the name of the kid who played the TV-obsessed Mike TV in 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory on Jeopardy in 2018. An entrepreneur from North Hollywood, California, Paris Hemmen. Alex Trebek made no mention of Paris's role in the children's cult classic when he introduced Paris to viewers. Paris Themen yes. from North Hollywood, California, an entrepreneur and a backpacker. In fact, an avid backpacker. Mm. How many countries? 61 countries. The producers were aware. And what they do is they take three fun facts about me and they write it on a little card and they put that card in front of Alex. So top of the stack was Willy Wonka. Number two is the 61 countries I backpacked to. In Willy Wonka, Mike is shrunk down to fit inside a TV. I'm famous. I'm a TV star. Wait till the kids back home hear about this. Now he's a TV star all over again. A former child actor was the hero of the day for coming to the rescue of a baby in 2017 after a car crashed. Matthew Underwood, who appeared on Nickelodeon's Zoe 101, told a local news station in Port St. Lucie, Florida, he saw the vehicle swerve across six lanes of traffic and crash into a tree. When he went to check on the people in the car, he found two adults, a four-month-old child, and drug paraphernalia. He says he took the baby out of the car and waited for police to arrive. Cops say a man was in the back seat with a needle next to him and a woman was slumped over in the driver's seat with a needle in her arm. While Underwood was called a hero for stepping in, he said the police officers who responded are the real heroes. In 2016, Allison Porter was crowned the winner of NBC's The Voice. The winner of The Voice is Allison Porter, Team 15. Allison Porter is a former child actress who starred in the 1991 movie Curly Sue. I'm just it. I know what I'm doing. I met her in 2006 after her performance of a chorus line on Broadway. Her coach, Christina Aguilera, jumped onto the stage to congratulate her protege. Remember the hit sitcom Growing Pains? the Seaver family's famous theme song. Jeremy Miller, who played the youngest son, Ben, who could forget that trademark scream? Ah! What's he been up to since? He's a professional chef in Los Angeles. Jeremy has fond memories of the show, especially of co-star Kirk Cameron. Kirk and I were terrors on the set, and we used to just prank everybody. In 2016, Inside Edition found him working with world-renowned chef Hannah Ahn at her restaurant, The District. You get me behind the stove and it's like, I'm just at perfect peace. He played the fun-loving, mischievous youngest brother on The Brady Bunch. It's a bit shake on. I make concrete countertops, and so come take a look. Inside Edition caught up with Mike Lookingland in 2016 at his company, Just Add Water, where he worked with his son, Scott. Quite a far cry from his days on the set of The Brady Bunch. How much more real could you be than, than making slabs of concrete. Looking Land lives in Utah with his wife, Kelly. This is the actual cookbook that Kelly uses to cook with. Alice's Brady Bunch things. cookbook. That's not the only Brady Bunch memorabilia Mike has. That's my action figure. He's still an action figure of sorts, only now it's behind a cement mixer. This is Inside Edition Digital.